Hey guys, so today we're going to do more graphing square and cube roots. Um, I've already done the first two for you. So remember um, the parent function for a square root would be f of x is equal to the square root of x. And the numbers that we would want to pick for this guy would be 0, 1, 4, and 9, because those will give us pretty y's. So if I plug these numbers in here, um, the square root of 0 is 0, the square root of 1 is 1, the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. Then we graph these. We've got a dot at 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2, and 9, 3. Well, use your imagination. Okay, so then we connect them. So um, the parent function is our green. And then our new function is this guy. This is the equation. So we are also describing the trans transformation. Oh, heavens, look at that typo. Um, so from this guy, it went left, not two. That's weird. Left, one, sorry. And then down to go from here to here is left one and then down two. So this is the transformation that goes from the parent function to the new graph. Um, the same thing we're doing on number two, but our parent function this time is f of x is equal to the cube root of x. And the numbers we want to pick for cubes are negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, 8. Um, the reason that you want more than this guy, there's two reasons. Uh, the first reason is we have like this weird curve that we need to see where it is and then kind of see where the flatter spots are. So you need the guy in the middle and the two on each side and then the two bigger ones to kind of help you get a curve. And then this guy, he doesn't have any negatives, um, at least for the parent function. So we just kind of want to get a feel for where the curve is going. Um, anyways. So on this, the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2, the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1, the cube root of 0 is 0, the cube root of 1 is 1, and the cube root of 8 is 2. So we're going to graph the parent function. So we have negative 8, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and then 8, 2. So this is what the parent function looks like. And this is my new graph, okay? So to go from here to here, we're basically looking at this middle section, just like we did on this graph when we looked at that middle section, um, and seeing how it's transformation transforming. So the transformation is just a shift up three. So when you add numbers that are not underneath the radical or subtract numbers, it's going to shift up and down. But when you add or subtract numbers on the inside of your radical, it moves it left and right. And it's kind of opposite. So when you have a positive, it's going to go left, and when you have a negative, it's going to go right. Negative signs in the fronts or with the x flip it different directions over different axes. Um, and I'm not being specific as to which axis they're flipping, just if they flip or not. Okay, so like number three. So we want to describe this transformation, and we want to graph it, okay? So remember for these guys, we want to make the... Um, radical be a pretty number, we want to graph nice numbers. So with square roots, remember we're thinking about this parent function, so we're thinking about the numbers 0, 1, 4, and 9. So inside my radical, I want it to equal 0, so when I take the square root of 0, I'll get 0, and when I take the square root of 1, I'll get 1, and when I take the square root of 4, I'll get 2, and when I take the square root of 9, I'll get 3. So I want these for my y values, and I just need to figure out my x values. So you can think about the opposite. Um, since I'm going to have to subtract 4 from 0, I can add 4 from 0. So 4 plus 0 is 4. And then that works because 4 minus 4 is 0. The same thing with my 1. I'm going to add 4. So 1 and 4 is 5. And 5 minus 4 is 1. And the square root of 1 is 1. And then um, 4, 9. Wait, wait, wait. That was 1. So 4. I'm going to add 4 and I get 8. And then 4 minus 4 is 8, the square root, no, 4, 8 minus 4 is 4, the square root of 4 is 2. And then my 9, I'm going to add 4, so 13. And then 13 minus 4 is 9, the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, so we're going to graph these guys. I know that 13 doesn't fit, that's totally fine. 
So I'm going to go right 4, 5, 1, 8, 2. So we can still see our curve. Okay, again, so we moved right 4 because um, it's a minus 4. And if you have a minus 4 on the inside underneath your radical, you're going to do the opposite. So you're, if a minus 4, then you're moving right. If it's a plus 4, you'd move left. Okay. Oh, so many. Love it. Um, so on number 5, you should be able to tell already there's nothing else in the radical and it's a minus 4. So we're going to shift down by 4. Okay. Um, so then, since it's a nice cube, I don't have to really change anything that's going to go on the inside, so I'm going to pick my pretty numbers. Negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, 8. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2, and then I'm going to subtract 4 from that, and that's negative 6. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1, and I'm going to subtract 4 from that, and that's negative 5. The cube root of 0 is 0, and I'm going to subtract 4, so that's negative 4. The cube root of 1 is 1, minus 4 is negative 3. And the cube root of 8 is 2, minus 4 is negative 2. So now we graph our ordered pairs, so our x value and our y value. Negative 8, negative 6, negative 1, negative 5, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 3, and 8, negative 2. So then we can see our curve. So we just shifted it down four spots because it's a minus four that's not included underneath the radical. So like, um, let's see, oh, so like number six, we're going to shift up one because I have an adding one at the end and then also it's going to move and we're going to move left six because it's a positive six. So on number six, you should have a transformation of up one and left six. So you can graph that one and see. Um, let's see, I guess we should do, um, let's do number nine. Okay, so again, I wanna get my pretty numbers. My pretty numbers for square roots are zero, one, four, and nine. So these are the numbers that I want my radicals to be because I want to get zero, one, two, and three for my y values. So in order to get zero in here, I'm going to get zero. Okay, now I have one. So think about this like this. This negative x is really saying negative one times whatever your x value is, okay? So we want one to be in here. So in order to do that, we're gonna put negative one. And then the same thing happens with all of these because negative one times negative one is positive one and then the square root is perfect. So I want this to be negative four and I also want this to be negative nine. So then we have a graph, we have zero, zero, negative one, one, this way, negative four, two, and negative nine, three, you know, something like that. Anyways, so when you have a negative inside of your radical, it's gonna flip it over the y-axis. And when it's on the outside, like on number seven, it's gonna flip it down over the x-axis. Um, okay, let's do, Gosh, I don't know. Let's do 11, I guess. Okay, again, remember with your cube roots, we want to get our nice numbers. So our numbers for cube roots are negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, 8. Okay? Um, that way, when I get the cube root, I'll have uh, negative 2, negative 1, 0, um, 1, 2. And then this will all be subtracted by 4. Do, 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 do. So this will be negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. Um, this time we're subtracting by 2, so we want to get negative 8. So if I have negative 6 minus 2, that's negative 8. This time we're subtract. oh wait, I already said that. By 2, I have negative 1, um, so 1 minus 2 is negative 1. We have 0. So I want to get zero, so that's a positive two. Minus two is zero. 
Um, then I have a positive 1. So 3 minus 2 is 1. And then 8. So 10 minus 2 is 8. And then I would graph these. So we've got negative 6, negative 6. Oh, heavens, there you are. 1, negative 5, 2, negative 4, 3, negative 3, and 10, negative 2, 8, 9, 10, 1. Oh, like over there somewhere. I don't know. Just help me get a curve, I guess. There you go. So the transformation, I um, went to the right two spaces, and then we went down four spaces. Okay, let me know if you have any more questions. Have fun graphing and answering all my quiz questions. Have a great day. Bye.